On June 21, 2013, eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle was abducted from a Walmart in Jacksonville, Florida by Donald Smith. A sexual predator and career criminal, Smith manipulated Cherish into leaving with him. Her body was found the next day, sexually abused and dumped in a swampy ravine. In today's heartbreaking story, we will see how predators like Donald Smith Groom manipulate and target their victims, hopefully bringing awareness to watch for these red flags. But before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay connected. Rain Periwinkle, Cherish's mother, was shopping at Dollar General in Jacksonville, Florida with her three daughters when they had their first encounter with 56-year-old Donald Smith. Rain struggled financially and raised her three daughters mostly on her own. She couldn't afford to get Cherish the dress she wanted so badly. Smith, seeing an opportunity to prey on Rain's vulnerability, made her an offer too good to be true. He offered to buy her girls clothes they desperately needed with a Walmart gift card. Knowing that she may turn him down, Smith explained that his wife could meet them at Walmart with the gift card. This made his offer seem more safe and genuine. Smith, being a master manipulator, convinced Rain that it would be better to drive them himself. Earning her trust, Smith got all four of them to pile into his white van and head to Walmart. However, Smith was in fact not married. He was actually a repeat sex offender with a laundry list of crimes. Rain played right into his plan to get her daughter alone. At around 8 p.m., the girls can be seen on camera shopping for clothes while Smith watches. He pays special attention to Cherish and even at one point tries to get Cherish's mother to agree to buy her daughter women's shoes that are not appropriate for children. Seeing the opportunity to get Cherish alone, Smith offers to get them all food from the McDonald's in the store. In the false sense of security being in the store, Cherish's mother allows her to follow Smith to the McDonald's. That would be the last time Cherish was seen alive. At this point, the store was closing soon. Recorded footage of Smith and Cherish shows them walking right past the McDonald's and out the doors to his white van where he leaves. It is not known what Smith told Cherish to get her to follow him outside, but he had already created a sense of security and trust to show that he was not a threat. 30 minutes later, the store is closing and Cherish and Smith are nowhere to be found in the store. Knowing something was immediately wrong, Rain calls 911 to report her daughter kidnapped. Rain told dispatchers that the man she was last seen with was a stranger and voiced her concerns that the only thing he would want with her daughter would be intentions to harm her. However, law enforcement does not seem to take Rain seriously and only lists her daughter as a missing child. An Amber Alert would not go out until five hours later. Perhaps those five hours would have made a difference between life and death. The next morning around 8.30 a.m., police received a tip from someone who had seen the Amber Alert. There was a suspicious van parked behind Highlands Baptist Church and it matched the description, but had left already. Before police could investigate the tip, an officer spotted the van while performing a traffic stop and called it in. Guns drawn, officers apprehended a soaking wet Donald Smith who lied and told them that he had taken Cherish, but she had escaped his van at a red light. Along with a canine unit, sheriffs went to check out the tip they had received from the Amber Alert. Spotting the fresh tire tracks, Gator, the sheriff's police dog, found Cherish's body immediately. She was found in a marshy area under a log in the same orange dress but naked from the waist down. This innocent eight-year-old endured brutal torment from someone who should have been behind bars but had gotten out of jail just 20 days before. Donald Smith raped, beat, and strangled Cherish. He was charged with first-degree murder, rape, and kidnapping. At Donald's trial, the coroner struggled to hold back tears as she explained the amount of pain this innocent and defenseless girl had gone through. He gagged Cherish so tightly that her nose and gums bled. She suffered repeated sexual abuse and blunt force trauma to her face and body. She did not die quickly, and when he strangled her, her eyes bled. Donald's DNA evidence was all over Cherish's body, even her neck. 
Rain, Cherish's mother, testified in court to her account of the events. Remorsefully and honestly, she admitted that she had a bad feeling about Donald Smith and only allowed him to take them there because her girls desperately needed clothes. Smith's attorneys tried to paint Rain as a terrible mother during their cross-examination. In the end, Rain was honest and admitted she ignored all of the warning bells going off because she was in a tight spot. He took advantage of her situation and exploited her weaknesses. Smith's defense called no witnesses to the stand and he did not testify either. To help solidify the jury's opinion, they played recordings of Smith talking to another inmate in jail about 12-year-old girls' bodies. He went so far as to say how their naked bodies were his attraction. He had no shame and bragged to his mother over the phone at how much attention his case was getting in the media. Perhaps his only defense were the experts called to the stand to testify to Smith's reasons behind his decisions. A forensic neurologist testified that Donald Smith had orbitofrontal syndrome. This part of his brain caused hypersexuality and would explain why his sexual impulses drove his thinking. Donald was also sexually abused as young as five years old and dropped on his head with a brain injury as a child. However, these impulses can be controlled. It was no excuse for what Donald had done and has been doing this for years. A witness testified that Donald tried to take her when she was 13 years old. When she wouldn't get into his van, he chased her, but thankfully, she was able to hide until he was gone. How many other victims could be out there? It only took 15 minutes of deliberation, and the jury had made their decision. Donald Smith was guilty of kidnapping, rape, and first-degree murder. He was sentenced to death for the brutal rape and murder of an eight-year-old girl. Donald Smith is still appealing his sentence and is on death row to this day. He maintains that he is not a child molester and seeks a new trial. Cherish's family will not have peace until Donald's execution. Do you believe Donald should get a lesser sentence? Should he be on death row? Tell us your thoughts in the comments below, and for more stories like this one, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.